morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about heart sounds and we will discuss about the phonocardiogram. This topic is present in the subject medical electronics. Now, we discuss about the phonocardiogram that is PCG. The graphical record of the heart sound is known as phonocardiogram. Here, the word cardio means heart. The device which is used to measure heart sound is known as phonocardiograph. Ascolation, that is the technique of listening heart sound produced by the organs and the blood vessels of the body is known as ascolation. In PCG, different types of heart sounds are measured. The heart sounds are due to the vibrations set up in the blood inside the heart by sudden closure of valves. Heart sounds There are four heart sounds associated with the cardiac cycle. Although it is only the first and the second sounds that are easily heard with the stethoscope. These two sounds are traditionally referred to as lub and dub. The lub sound is the first heart sound and the dub sound is the second heart sound. Animation of heart walls opening and closing. Heart sounds provide the doctor valuable information about heart function. Ascolation is used to detect abnormal heart sounds and decide on further course of action. Tricuspid valve The tricuspid valve is one of the two main walls on the right side of the heart. Normally, the tricuspid valve has three flaps that open and close allowing blood to flow from the right atrium to the right ventricle in your heart and prevent blood from flowing backward. Mitral valve or bicuspid valve. Mitral valve is located between the left atrium and the left ventricle or the left atrioventricular orifice. It is also known as the bicuspid valve because it has two cusps anterior and posterior. Like the tricuspid valve, the base of each cusp is secured to fibrous ring that surrounds the orifice. Semilunar valve. The semilunar valves are pocket-like structures attached at the point at which the pulmonary artery and the aorta leave the ventricles. The pulmonary valve guards the orifice between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. Normal heartbeat and ECG waveform representation is shown below. Here is the representation of the normal heartbeat. The normal heart beats 70 to 80 beats per minute for the adults. Here is a representation of the ECG waveform. The sinoatrial node generates the pulses. That generated pulses pass through all parts of the heart and from that it is distributed to other parts. This is indicated in this diagram. Here is a representation. P wave. Now QRS complex. Then we have T wave and U wave. Cardiac cycle. The cardiac cycle is the performance of the human heart from the beginning of one heartbeat to 
the beginning of the next it consists of two periods one during which the heart muscle relaxes and refills with blood called diastole following a period of robust contraction and pump, pumping of blood dubbed systole three stages of cardiac cycle stage 1 atrial and ventricular diastole the chambers are relaxed and filling with blood stage 2 atrial systole that is atria contract and remaining blood is pushed into ventricles stage 3 ventricular systole that is ventricles contract and push blood out through aorta and pulmonary artery first heart sound the first heart sound s1 is produced by the closure of the mitral and tricuspid valves in early systole and is loudest near the apex of the heart it is described as a lub is more complex is louder and lasts longer than the second sound the first heart sound can be most clearly heard in the area of the apex of the heart second heart sound the second heart sound is to described as a dub results from the sudden closing of the aortic and pulmonary valves which bulge backwards towards the ventricles until the elastic stretch recoils the blood back into the arteries abnormalities of s2 include alterations in its pattern and changes in the pattern of splitting third heart sound when present a third heart sound s3 can be heard in early diastole during the rapid filling phase of the ventricle after the opening of the atrioventricular valve it is a dull low pitched sound best heard in the tricuspid area production of the s3 sound appears to be the result of the tensing of the cord dendrite as rapid filling of the ventricles causes the chamber to expand fourth heart sound the fourth heart sound s4 is very quiet and is not usually heard with a normal unamplified stethoscope when present it occurs in late diastole and coincides with the contraction of the atria it is generated by the left or right atrium contracting against a stiffened ventricle the s4 is a dull low pitched sound like s3 and is best heard in the mitral atria and s4 is sometimes referred to as an atrial gallop atrial and ventricular systole and diastole representation here is a representation of the atrium contraction and expansion and ventricular contraction and expansion that is systole and the diastole of both atrium and the ventricle of the heart chambers is represented here heart sounds waveform representation is shown below in this waveform we have first heart sound second heart sound third heart sound and fourth heart sound heart sound and ecg waveform comparison is shown here here is a representation of both the ecg waveform and the heart sound waveforms and its comparison thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly 
share this video to your friends